I think this is a good distinction to make because of how it teaches us how language works more carefully. Like if I said we're under the law, everyone, maybe rightfully, is going to be like, oh, he's under the law. He doesn't agree with Paul. No, I agree exactly with Paul. Do you know Paul says we're both not under the law but under grace? That's contextual regarding who he was talking to and about. Because look at the screen here. What he says in 1 Corinthians 9.21. When he's winning those without the law. Notice what this says. To them that are without law as without law. So he isn't without law, is he? He becomes like one without the law to win them. But notice what it says. Not being without law to God, but look, under the law to Christ. Let me ask you something. Is Jesus God? Does Jesus represent the Father? Is Jesus God? Yes, he is. So, if he's not without law to God, but under the law, he says he's under the law to Christ. Christ is God. To be under the law to Christ is to be under the law to God. So Paul both says we're not under the law, and he also says we are under the law through Christ. What does that mean? It means he's under the law to Christ, who is God, which means he's under the law to God in Christ, which means you can both be not under the law of God in some sense, yet under the law to God in another sense. What does that mean? I'm not going to give any interpretation per se, but as what the Bible says is we're both not under the law, but it was he talking about you. Who is he more talking about when he says he's not under the law? Is that talking about you? Kind of. But is it talking about you when he says he's under the law to Christ? Yes, he is talking about you if you're a Christian. So the phrase under the law of God through Christ is more applicable to a Christian than the context of what he says we're not under the law. Gentiles were the ones without the law in this context of 1 Corinthians 9. I implore you to grasp this. Paul thinks we're under the law of God in Christ. And when he says we're not under the law but under grace, he's talking about Israelites who were under the Mosaic Covenant, which in 1 Corinthians 9, he seems to talk about Gentiles as... And by the way, uh, I don't. it's not okay to say the Jews today, after Christ, are under the law of God. So it was only Jews in the period of the transition to the New Covenant that were under the law. It means they were under the condemnation Uh, of not receiving justification in Christ. But now that Christ has come, there is no other justification. So people aren't, nobody, including Jews today, are in that same situation. Everyone is without the law of God, it seems to me, now that the only covenant that's active is the new covenant, since Christ has died and risen again. So the not under the law comment is very contextual to the circumstances of the first century and the transitional period from this uh, being connected to God through the Old Covenant, being connected to God through Christ. So Christians should be more applicable, or it's more applicable for Christians to talk about being under the law through Christ than it is to ever say they are not under the law in the way Paul was using it in Romans. Uh, Tell me why you agree or disagree in the comments.